and today's video I'm going to show you guys six items that I received from the Milani Cosmetics 2012 line. So this will be a very, very short uh, and sweet, simple video. But I wanted to show you guys the three, the six items that I chose. Um, the first item that I chose, as you can see by the pictures in the beginning of the video, um, is this beautiful marbleized baked eyeshadow in the color Green Fortune. And it has really pretty, it's a really beautiful metallic green with uh, fuchsia specks. And it also has uh, flecks of gold in here. Very pretty. Now, um, what I found is that with this particular eyeshadow, this is my first time using it, um, I found that it did not give as much payoff as I want it to. Um, even with the eyeshadow base and even with my brush wet, wet or dry, you don't really get a lot of um, color payoff. So it was a little disappointing. So I really, to, to achieve this look today um, that I'm rocking, I had to really, really, really pack it on. And I'll swatch it for you so you can see how it looks dry. And that's it right there. It's very light and it has a lot of shimmer to it. But I was expecting a little bit more color payoff. Because the it's a beautiful eyeshadow and I just really wanted to see um, these colors on my eyes, I really wanted to bring it out. Even with my brush wet, it still did not um, give me a lot of um, pigmentation as far as color wise. The next eyeshadow that I picked up was, um, this is from their Runway Eyes collection. And um, this one is called Beach Sand. It's a very pretty neutral looking color, a warm neutral color. And um, with this color, it has a lot of glitter in it as well. And this is what it looks like dry. Now this color I would use as a highlight or I would use um, maybe on my eyelid, but I think I would definitely use this as a highlight. But it's really, really pretty. Also, I picked up, this is my last one. This is from the Runway Eyes uh, collection also. This is in the color Shamrock. This is a beautiful green with, um, it also has green glitter flecks in it if the light is picking this up. And once again, you don't really get a lot of payoff, color payoff with these, with this, this collection. So, um, those were the three eyeshadows. But like I said, um, with these three that I've noticed is that the color payoff, they're not really hot, um, really pigmented like the other ones that I had received. Um, and you don't get a lot of payoff even when it's wet. So... I'm not sure exactly how to bring um, these colors out, but the, the colors are really, really pretty. Next, I have um, three of their lipsticks. I'm actually rocking one of their lipsticks today. Um, the one that I'm rocking today is in the color uh, Grape Teeny. Looks like this. It's a really pretty um, purple color. But online, it looks a little darker, so I really wasn't expecting for it to be as light. I was looking for a more of a deep purple, but this is very, very pretty and rich. And I just put a, um, a clear lip gloss over top. Um, to bring out the color a little bit more, I did line my lips today with uh, Nika K's pencil, lip pencil in the color Plum. The next color that I have is 
orange Gina. And I keep looking in my monitor instead of looking into the actual lens. But this is in the color orange Gina, which uh, is a really, really pretty, vibrant orange. Very nice for the summer. And I will swatch this on my other hand. Very pretty. And last but not least, I did pick up um, a color that's very neutral. It's called Sugar Rim. Very neutral color. And this one, I find it has um, actual glitter in it. So if you don't really like the glittery um, lipsticks, then I don't suggest to get this one. But I like the glitter. Um, it's workable. And here's a swatch of that. It's very, very light. And I guess I could swatch the one that I'm rocking now. I could swatch that one for you too. There it is right there. So yeah, those were the six items that I received from the uh, Milani Cosmetics line. And um, I also wanted, I picked this one up, this up on my own. And this is their Brow Tint Pen. Um, if you guys have not tried this, oh my gosh, I am in love with this pen. I really, really, truly love this pen. Um... If you want to get very precise with your eyebrows, this is really good. Um, I've heard a lot of great reviews on this pen, so I had to go out and try it for myself. And I must say that I'm actually impressed, and I really like this pen. It goes on, it has a very fine line, and it's not too dark. And you can get in with your brows, and this actually lasts all day long um i have went to sleep forgotten to take my makeup off a couple of nights this week and um, i've actually had this for several weeks it's just that i'm getting around to telling you guys about it but i have went to sleep woke up eyebrows still on so this really lasts i don't really set this um sometimes i can set it with powder sometimes i don't and it actually just stays on all day so yeah guys those were the items that i wanted to share with you guys and um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Toodles.